In this video, I'm gonna share with you the best tools and art supplies for mandala drawing. Hi, my name is Lizzie Snow and I work under my artist name 4100. I create contemporary explorations of the mandala and fractal inspired artworks. I draw, paint murals internationally, release prints, products, and collaborate with select brands around the world. Welcome to my YouTube. Click the mandala in the corner to subscribe to my channel as I upload art and art business videos every single week. Let's start with rulers. There are many out there so it can be confusing what to choose and there's no right or wrong, but there's definitely one that I found more helpful than the others. I don't really think it's brand based, but I prefer a clear ruler with lines on it. And that means when I'm lining up the grid, I know that everything is straight and symmetrical. Whereas the metal rulers, you can't do that. The other fact to consider is that rulers can get dirty with pencil buildup. And these ones are much easier to clean and to see if they're dirty. Whereas the metal ones often have a cork back or metal on both sides, which is harder to clean. And so the clear ruler with lines is definitely the best. Next, you'll need a compass. I've tried so so many different compasses over the years and consistently Stadler has been the best. Here are two examples of Stadler compasses. This one has a lead set in and this one has detachable arms. So it has a lead arm and also this pencil arm so you can put in pens, pencils, whatever you may need. The quality is always high, they're always very accurate and they're very beautiful tools. If possible, you want to avoid a compass that has plastic joinery, metal is best. If you're drawing larger mandalas, I recommend this XL compass. This one in particular can draw circles up to 100 centimeters. I'll put the links to everything down below. For this one, you can actually buy them on my website. It's made from heavy duty steel, so it's super durable, but it does require care as do all steel products. This next item is optional, but it can be really helpful, a protractor. I recommend a 360 protractor. That means you can line up the middle and easily draw a grid around if you don't want to use a compass for this part. The next thing you'll need, of course, is a pen. When I first started drawing mandalas, I used the Stadler pigment liner. It's a really great pen, but then I discovered the Sakura of America Pigma Micron pen. They're both great pens, but I just found that the Sakura of America pen had a really rich black and it was archival. They're both really great and they're both really popular in the art and mandala art community. Then if you're painting or doing large mandalas, I recommend mural pens. Mural pens are my own brand of paint pen made from a special blend of acrylic paint to have the perfect flow on walls, wood, canvas, and more. There are lots of different paint pen brands out there. I've tried them all. They're good, but nothing really stood out, and that's why I designed mural pens. Heading on to pencils and erasers. There isn't really a brand or a type that you need to use, but I definitely have a preference, so I'll share it with you. For erasers, I prefer a softer eraser. So these are just two random ones that I have in my studio. It doesn't really matter. But when they have a nice flex, that means that they don't rub off the ink or paint. My favorite brand is probably Factus, I think it's pronounced. Um, just because I've used it for many years and it's consistently great. For pencils, you can use anything. I made these 4100 pencils. With any pencil, just make sure you're not pressing too hard so that you can erase all the lines at the end. If you're drawing a black and white mandala, that's all you're gonna need. But if you decide to add paints or color, I recommend Golden Acrylics. Golden is a super high quality professional artist paint brand. They have all sorts of mediums and gessos and their metallics are super gorgeous, so I highly recommend. There you have it. There are the best tools and art supplies for drawing or painting a mandala. Like this video and subscribe to my channel for more art and art business content. I upload a new video every single Wednesday. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.